Dad can't play piano. It's the nail. It's unlocking him. My nail gives me the power to know all domestic flight times within the United States. United 12 leaves Dulles for O'Hare in 30 minutes. No, not even close. Come, my acolytes. Taste. You just got a bunch of dirt in it. That's Earth, and Earth is flavor and passion. Think of how many people had sex on this Earth. And on Earth! I found a little piece that's clean. Little dirt for you. To cook meat over flame, to me, I believe truly... Can't find the neck hole on this poncho. Ah, ah, there it is. The best technique is spatchcocking. I've done that. It's when you intentionally graze someone's penis with your backpack. Spatchcocking is when you flatten an animal's rib cage so that it cooks more evenly. I'll show you. It's all about finding just the right point of pressure. Feeling it, making that connection, and then spatchcock! This works with any meat. Wild hare. River otter. Two chickens. <laughs> Usually you want to prep it, get the guts out, but I was just feeling it too hard. Had to do a live spatchcock. So it goes. Eight fires, etc., etc. With food, you need a little wine. This, to me, is a little wine. This is the largest size bottle of wine that isn't legally a vet. It is called a Nebuchadnezzar. I drink four of these a day, just like Charlemagne did, and I'll outlive you all. What is it the poets say about wine? <laughs> what? Did you say something? Was I still going? Well, you're a fool if you don't savor your Nebuchadnezzars. I can't tell if it's done. Maybe I should check real quick? It's ruined. The precious juice has been drained. Taste yours. Now try mine. Mm. It's so good. You're resisting my lessons. I hope you can show me something at the big feast. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must slumber and dream of spatchcocking T-Rexes with my childhood friend, Jean-Baptiste. <laughs> Business has never been better, and it's all thanks to you. Sales figures correspond 100% with your piano playing. <laughs> I don't want any of this stuff. I'm buying 10 winter coats. <laughs> You hooked another one, Nailhead! And you know how big the margins are on coats. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I got a call from corporate earlier. They're considering turning the Langley Falls location into the new flagship. Yes, flagship. That's what all this has been about! Now play me to the break room, this time in the style of a silent movie villain. Javier, your potatoes three ways is delicious. Inspired. What would you say to another three ways in my big fur bed? No. You deny me? My passion grows like a bonfire. Anywho, moving on. I was having a tough time at first, but I think I finally cooked from here. Promising. Where are they? Where are what? The measuring cups that you use to make this! You're right! I cheated! I've been doing so terribly! Why can't I understand how to cook? Who cares about that? I launched those measuring cups all the way to Bear Island. If you went there, it's possible they followed your scent back here. Who? <sighs> Acolytes, fly me to safety! We'll tell the world your story! But I already told the world my story. Roger, what do we do? Stand perfectly still and don't make a sound. Yes, it's me. <laughs> that damn bear spatchcocked me. I wish I wasn't here right now. I wish I was at a restaurant. Roger, are you okay? 
They told me Bear Island would be a problem when I bought this place. Leave the bears to me, I said. What did I even mean? I didn't have a plan. This is all my fault. It's not your fault. You weren't there when I bought the island. I mean, if I hadn't cheated, the bears never would have come here. You killed me? Let's see how badly you're hurt. What's the damage? Will I ever be able to rollerblade again? Oh, that bear really got you. We need to get you off this island, but the boat is gone. There's a backup boat on the other side of the island. Oh, my God! Wait, why do you have a backup boat? You should be asking, why do I have three boats? Because I used to, but then I ended up selling one. Ow. 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 Wait, my Nebuchadnezzar's. Ow. Ow. Wait, my gaucho hat. You know, Francine, I think I'm ready to die. There's just one last thing I want to do. Drink a live forever potion. You're not gonna die. We've reached the boat. Wait, there's somebody in it. Oh no, it's Francis Maulman. You stole my identity, Francis Maulman, and now I steal your boat. Money, oh money, oh money. <laughs> We're rich. This branch of Nordstrom is rich. Oh no, the family. It's been a week, we have to take the nail out now. Otherwise he'll die, right, Dr. Calgary? Sounds right. Then you must take it out. I'd never want Nailhead to die because you see, it wasn't about the money or the coat sales, the highest in the Tri-County area. It was about the music. So before you remove the nail, could I hear just one last song? Dad, one more song! No boats. No food. We're both gonna starve here. I'm surprised I made it this far with the amount of glass I've been drinking. Before we die, why did you cheat with the measuring cups? I didn't want to mess up, I guess. What would it mean if you messed up? That there was something wrong with the measurements or the recipe? And what if you messed up without a recipe? What if it was just you cooking, making your own decisions? It'd mean that there was something wrong with me. That I was the failure. And that's what therapists call a ba ba, -ba bingo <laughs> Roger, this leg is starting to turn. I think I should cut it off. If you're gonna cut off my leg, you need to cook it. Roger, that's crazy! It'll keep me from dying of blood poisoning and give us both something to eat. I don't know. There is no recipe for cooking my leg. No safety net. Show me who you are and feed me me. It's delicious, Franny. Hey, I'm back, baby. No! Put it back in! Put it back in! Don't ah! <laughs> ah! I'll make you a monster! Billy, get some in! Ah, oh, it feels good to have conquered this. I was letting my fear of failing make me a boring cook. <laughs> no, don't fight them. Feed them. <laughs> Hey, it's Francis. The smell of your soulful cooking lured him back, Francine. And I've hit my goal weight. Roger, your body's gonna grow back, right? It always has before. Oh, God, what if it doesn't? <laughs> 